In this power course lesson, we're going to study uh, using fields in Grasshopper, and you can see that I can change uh, the charge. So it's going to be negative or positive. We're going to explain that in the course lesson. And I can also change the location. This will be the point charge. Uh, then we're going to talk about how we can use a line and change the location. I, uh, you can see that I can also change the location of these lines and produce different results. We're going to also study how we can visualize the field. As you can see, uh, I can change the location of the field and see different results. So this is basically how the field affects a series of lines. Uh, or we can just uh, produce a series of surface based on them. So now if I turn this off, uh, you can see that I can uh, produce different strips based on this field uh, and basically these lines are going to produce surfaces so it's going to be a point field it's going to be line field and we're going to talk about that uh, how it can affect the shape as you can see I can change the location and produce different results and also uh, how we can produce a spin force uh, which is also another example of the fields how we can make it negative or uh, positive and also how it can affect different planes. So we're going to also talk about the planes and you can see how it's going to affect uh, these planes and also the location of the spinning force, uh, how we can control that in Grasshopper and you can see that I can change the location and uh, make, make it simply produce uh, something like this. And at the end, we're also going to talk about a vector field uh, which is similar to line and how it's going to affect uh, the strips as you can see here or we can just simply just uh, have those lines and see how they change uh, based on different sections so you can see this is going to be always one section and at the end we're going to combine these fields uh, to produce different results so you can see that I can combine all of these fields uh, and if I change the section, it's going to, let me just uh, delete the vector field so you can see the results. And then I'm going to uh, produce uh, different sections so you can see the results here. We're also going to talk an about another technique in the fields, uh, which is producing lines. It's going to take a while to produce those curves and lines. Uh, but this is another way we can produce fields and visualize them in Grasshopper. The next technique is to see the tensor and the vectors. Here you can also see uh, how we can see those vectors in a visualizing way. And uh, also there is another uh, technique which we can produce uh, something like a visualization of color. And as you can see, I'm just visualizing those points. So it's going to see, uh, it's going to show you how it's going to affect the field in the space. So this tutorial will be a uh, good basics about fields. And in the future, we're going to also add uh, more tutorials about them and maybe show you how you can use them in architecture or design.